sorry to be the one to tell you this, but you got yourself killed at RST. We'd rebuild the most important assets in the US military. Soldiers like yourself. You're the first who we've successfully managed to bring back. But improved, enhanced. With the technology in your veins, you have an army inside you that will not only make you stronger, it will heal you instantly. Now tell me, do you remember anything? Where are you going? I've got unfinished business. I'm gonna find the man who murdered my wife and kill him. Oh, that's not good. All right, shut him down. Aloha. This is Trinidad, the island man, your island man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu. Bringing you, yes, you, the best movie review on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. And uh, today I am bringing you a movie review, uh, despite the fact that uh, as of yesterday, we had gotten the news that Hollywood has basically, due to the coronavirus, the COVID-19 virus, um, pretty much closed up shop in Hollywood. Uh, most of the things that were coming in April and throughout the summer have been postponed, to say the least. Uh, no more New Mutants, uh, no Mulan, no Mulan, uh, no... Fast and Furious 9, um, gosh, you know, not even any Peter Rabbit for Easter, um, wow, <sighs> you know, uh, but the movie theaters are still open, at least currently, and uh, this week, you know, opened up Thursday night, uh, Vin Diesel's new movie called Bloodshot. And now, without further ado, remember our rating scale, Jock Thumbs Up, good to see, I recommend it, Jock Thumbs Down, bad to see, it's junk, I don't recommend it. And for Vin Diesel's new movie, based on the Valiant comic book series, it is a Shock of Thumbs Up. Uh, now, I know what you're saying, the trailers looked really cheesy, I thought so too, and I was all going to go see this movie, getting ready to go. Oh yeah, I'm going to give it a shock and thumbs down. And I was totally surprised that it is a shock and thumbs up. My goodness. <laughs> um, this actually turned out to be a very entertaining, uh, very action-oriented movie, which it should have been. This is everything, everything that fans wanted from a standalone Wolverine Weapon X Logan-like movie uh, for the Valiant character called Bloodshot. Um, now, for those of you who do not know or are not familiar with Valiant comic books, uh, in the late, well, in the mid-1990s to late-1990s, um, basically artists and, um, you know, writers got fed up with basically like our political system, the two-party system of DC and Marvel. And so many artists struck out on their own uh, and created various other independent comic book uh, organizations, uh, companies. Um, one of the most famous was Todd McFarlane uh, along with Image Comics doing Spawn. And he got a movie right away of, oh, god-awful movie, but he got a movie for Spawn, and is currently still working on another Spawn movie, uh, even, I don't know, as we speak, I guess, uh, but that's been, who knows what's going to happen with that. The first one was so bad. Uh, <laughs> but uh, another company, another really good company, that rivaled Image, and for a while, you know, kind of outpaced even Marvel and DC, was Valiant Comic Book. Uh, these guys, they came up with a whole host of characters, say like a, you know, like in this movie, Bloodshot, played by Vin Diesel, uh, is basically a Wolverine wannabe 
uh, character. Uh, however, instead of a mutant, he is a cyborg uh, using nanotechnology. Um, basically, a lot of what was going on in Valiant Comics came from the technology, uh, you know, the technical aspect of things. Uh, you had XL Man of War, which was an Iron Man like character uh, with a very more interesting backstory, um, you know, and a whole host of cybernetic characters. Uh, in their own comics. Um, I never read the comic Bloodshot, uh, but I read, you know, some of the other Valiant comic books. I read Exo Man of War, which was very good, and they're working on a movie like that uh, in the future for another Iron Man-like movie. Um, but, you know, there was a X-Men team uh, like, X-Men like team of uh, cyborgs, all with their crazy you know, psychological traits and unable to get along with humanity because they were different, uh, called Cyber Force. Uh, and this is the one that I collected. And, you know, basically they were all kind of loosely linked uh, together with Bloodshot, you know, but he was doing his own thing. Kind of like, you know, because he was very much uh, the Wolverine wannabe character, essentially. He was almost invulnerable, super fast healing, thanks to his nanites, uh, extra strong, uh, you know, basically, basically Wolverine. Like we've always seen him in the comics, like we always wanted him to be in the movies, and only barely got little smidgets of, you know, where he'd let loose on his enemies, blood and gore and everything else, and getting exploded to bits only to put himself back together again with his healing factor. This is everything that Bloodshot gives you and even more. Um, now I will be the first to say that although I don't know much about Bloodshot, the character from the comics, because I, I never really read his run, um, this, you know, I know a little bit, and this is a changed, you know, reworked scenario for the movie. Um, but it works. And it works mainly because of Vin Diesel. And, you know, he, say what you will about Vin Diesel, he's not, it, he is not the best actor in the world. Uh, he's not even the best action star actor in the world. But he brings plenty of heart to his role. Kind of a, a humanistic quality that makes you just want to root for the guy and see him succeed in his movie. Uh, you know, uh, despite, you know, the odds that are set against him. And this is no different. Uh, if you like the Fast and Furious movies, if you have liked him in Triple X, uh, you know, the Xander Cage movies, you will like him in Bloodshot. Uh, because, you know, there's not much difference to the character. Uh, he is a soldier, a, a really great soldier, uh, I think Army Special Forces or something, it's, it's not really defined, but we know he's not a SEAL and he's not a Marine, so most likely Army Special Forces, um, but I, I'm not, maybe a Green Beret, we don't know, um, but he is killed uh, apparently in the line of duty at some point, and Guy Pierce, a la Iron Man 3, uh, is a scientist who brings him back from the dead, a la Universal Soldier, uh, <laughs> who has been working with other soldiers to uh, kind of try to bring them back, uh, repair their injuries, give them cybernetics like Logan, uh, you know, so that they can continue the fight. However, these guys, uh, you know, Guy Pierce has a get into spoilers later, but he has a twist to him. Um, very much, again, like his character in Iron Man 3, where he is the scientist doing all this stuff, but being evil. <laughs> but we find that out later. Um, bring in a co-star of, uh, I want to say, Eliza Gonzalez. Isaac Gonzalez, I believe, a beautiful young woman uh, who is apparently a, a Navy diver, um, 
who is brought in and she has the cybernetic enhancement of, you know, uh, she has a respirator built into her, a cybernetic respirator because her lungs and larynx uh, trachea was damaged. So she cannot breathe on her own without this mechanical cybernetic enhancement. Uh, and thus kind of a loose love interest, uh, friendship bond forms between her and Vin Diesel's bloodshot character, uh, which basically brings him back as he is brought back like Logan, like Wolverine, with no memory of his past until he begins to uh, unravel those threads that come to him uh, in the movie. Uh, so that is it. Along with some other soldiers, one of them played by uh, uh, Toby Kebbell of, yes, um, uh, uh, Warcraft fame, of, of uh, uh, Planet of the Apes fame, um, you know, being himself for a change in this movie and not a motion captured uh, creation. Uh, so this is. You know, it's, it's definitely not a breakout role for him, but it's nice to see his actual physicality uh, and likeness, well, likeness, his actual uh, <laughs> self in a film for a change instead of some animated, uh, you know, character uh, that he portrays very well in all of these uh, uh, motion capture uh, movies that he does. But uh, he has been trying to break out into live action and uh, here he finally gets his chance, and he, he does pretty well. He's, he holds his own. Uh, so basically, like I said, Guy Pierce is putting together these soldiers, these, this organization, uh, through his company to bring back these soldiers. And, okay, I'm going to start some spoilers here and now. Uh, basically, he is using these soldiers for his own personal benefit, for his own gain. Um, you know, uh, he uses Bloodshot to basically take out all of his enemies. But at this point, you know, we have kind of, you know, a team dynamic set up between all of these people. And we could see where this could take off uh, these cybernetic heroes uh, into its own beginning cinematic universe as kind of a, a basic fundamental foundation of a Avengers-like or X-Men-like team for Bloodshot, uh, this girl uh, called, uh, uh, well, I think her, uh, Elise Gonzalez's uh, name is uh, uh, NT or something like that. I think that she just uses her initials in the movie. But they have a solid chemistry together. And along with a third member that joins later, uh, we can see that this is the foundation being built for the Valiant Cinematic Universe. Uh, a whole brand new comic book uh, movie universe based on Valiant characters. And we could potentially see them come in and out of each other's movies. Uh, like I said, they're planning to do an EXO movie uh, in the future. EXO Man of War, basically an Iron Man suit possessed by this uh, rich entrepreneur who just happens to have been a caveman who had found this suit many, many, many years ago, way back in prehistoric time. <laughs> and thus the suit, being of alien technology, uh, had prolonged his life. But uh, that is not this movie. This is all Bloodshot's movie. And I say that this movie is a combination of, like I said, Iron Man 3, um, oh my goodness, Iron Man 3, uh, Universal Soldier, and of course you cannot discount Wolverine, Logan, or Weapon X, because he is very much a soldier that is unleashed with incredible healing powers, incredible extra strength, and durability, maybe not at maximum, but thanks to his nanites that are not in his blood, but are his entire blood pumping through his system. basically the unstoppable Wolverine we had always wanted to see in the Fox movies, uh, but never have, and where Marvel will now have to catch up with Bloodshot. Amazingly enough, this is action-packed uh, 
movie, it does bring forth a decent enough backstory uh, because, you know, as we find out that, remember this is spoilers, we find out Gear, Guy Pierce is using this team to eliminate all his uh, corporate rivals, essentially, a la Iron Man 3. Um, he brings back Deadshot, uh, you know, uh, Vin Diesel's character because he is such a super soldier, uh, very much like Wolverine. We find out that he had been bringing him back over the course of five years now and then to do his bidding, a la kind of even a Winter Soldier-like kind of scenario, wiping his memory of each time, only giving him enough to go seek vengeance on those who had killed him and his wife. But lo and behold, as he is freed from this and begins to remember his own memory, he discovers his wife was never killed, but had, you know, but knew that he had died and thus had moved on and now has a family of his own. So he is alone and lost and turns to Auntie Elise, uh, Elisa Gonzalez's character uh, for emotional and friendship support. Um, now, the action in this movie is pretty good, I have to say. You know, Vin Diesel has never been that great of a, an action hero. Maybe his best action scenes have always been from Riddick. But because of that, he does have some fundamental training in at least drawing type of style. He's no martial artist, uh, as you know from, uh, <laughs> from uh, the Fast and Furious film. He is basically a slugfest kind of fighter. And he is, and you know, basically that works for him in this uh, movie, very much as Wolverine, being an unstoppable, take those punches, take those bullets, explosions, etc., heal, and just keep pounding away. There is one point where he uh, pummels a solid cement pillar of a building and, you know, cracks it, essentially, <laughs> due to his super strength and his bloody knuckles heal a la very much a wolverine where the claws would come out um, or go back in um, and so he's a weapon master a unstoppable killing machine uh, but he has a heart or at least he finds his heart as he becomes be remembers things and becomes to fight his programming that Guy Pierce has put into him um, and along with that you know, why T is able to free herself as she is basically being held captive because she can't breathe on her own and Guy Pierce can control her breathing apparatus. Uh, so she is as much a prisoner as Vin Diesel. The other guys, they're more sketchy on the outside and actually work with Guy Pierce. These other two cybernetically enhanced soldiers. And thus, we have our direct enemies against Vin Diesel and uh, NT. Along with many other uh, normal soldiers that go up against uh, Vin Diesel with Bloodshot and are taken out, a la the Wolverine style. Beautiful, in fact. Um, but uh, the weaknesses of the action on this film all come from Elisa Gonzalez. She is a beautiful woman, uh, captivating on screen. She's a knockout. Let me just tell you. I would say 10, 10 right there. Um, but her fight scene, she is no fighter. Uh, she has had no training. Uh, you can tell in the scenes, especially where she's fighting, where you can kind of forgive the, the cut, uh, you know, the shaky cam for Vin Diesel's fights. All of hers are, are shaky cam, and you know she was like replaced with a stunt woman here and there for the majority of her fight scenes until, oh, the finishing move where she like, ah, you're knocked out. <laughs> you know, and it focuses on her face. Um, ridiculous. If she had trained maybe a little bit better, uh, those action points would have been much better in the film. However, it is, you know, that, that's the weakness of the film, is all on her action capability. Maybe in the future with more movies, she'll get that additional training with the stunt teams to become more capable. Uh, but that's where the weakness in the action lies, is with her character despite trying to be a better one. <laughs> but again, all that doesn't really take away from too much because we're here to see the star character, Vin Diesel, um, you know, Bloodshot, uh, take out Guy Pierce and his evil organization 
and Free himself setting up the foundation of maybe the cyber force uh, to come, you know, a new organization, a new settling uh, of, you know, come to, you know, what's to come with more valiant characters coming in, maybe becoming this cyber force, uh, like in the books, and working all around Vin Diesel, where he can kind of come and go, maybe do a cameo in those future uh, valiant cinematic uh, you know universe movies and you know still be bloodshot saying hey I put together this team with my friends uh, but I gotta go do this you know goes off do his own movies and we will see the rest of the Avenger like Valiant characters do their thing and come to it. So this movie Bloodshot is a strong shock a thumbs up uh, where I thought it was gonna be so much so bad I would be laughing all the way, but it is so good, uh, especially for a weekend that only has uh, two other new movies, Emma and uh, that Victorian-like movie, uh, and uh, The Hunt, which, you know, looks to be too political for me to want to go see. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. And then uh, there's also that religious movie that I won't go see. some blood there's there's not like a lot of blood, but there is some blood so you know maybe maybe not your little little kid but if he's used to that from seeing you know watching Wolverine those you know Logan movies and some of the Marvel movies uh, just you know be, be aware there's a little bit more ferocity and act with the action than right now what we've seen in Marvel think uh, maybe a little bit more like the Batman from Batman versus Superman, kind of, you know, hey, I'm gonna kick, uh, I'm gonna kill you, I'm Batman. Yeah. <laughs> but essentially, this is bloodshot. Um, so yeah, so you know, if you don't want your kids having too many nightmares, you might want want to take your little kids to go see Bloodshot. But you should definitely check it out if you love action movies and superhero movies, and you know, want to see the birth of a new cinematic universe. Not DC, not Marvel. We get the fresh choice of Valiant with brand new characters. Uh, yes, kind of powers we've seen before, but different enough to be enjoyable. And definitely with the action, so good. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, saying shock a thumbs up for, you know, Bloodshot, Vin Diesel's movie. He brings it again. He brings the feeling of family. Even though his uh, Fast and Furious franchise is on hold, uh, we can at least enjoy him for now. Uh, through this disease-ridden, uh, virus-ridden uh, world uh, in Bloodshot. Alright, thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, here in Hawaii, saying, go see Bloodshot, shock a thumbs up. Alright, thank you so much, and mahalo.